Hi, my name is Kevin Forrester and this is To The Kev Lessons. Um, I would like to introduce you to quadratics, which is the first chapter of AS Mathematics. So let's dive in. So AS Mathematics basically starts with um, quadratics, trying to focus in depth because it's really helpful for latter chapters such as functions and calculus. And so what I'd like to do today is discuss solving quadratics. Right, and within solving quadratics, there are uh, four basic things that we, we need to work through. Quadratic equations, algebraic fractions, simultaneous quadratics, and quadratic formula. So, let's take a look at quadratic equations. Right, so solving quadratic equations. Well, basically, all we need to do is, when we are solving quadratic equations, it's a couple, it's like a two-step process. The first step, is try and get into your quadratic format, format, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. And once you got that, make sure that it's equal to zero. Okay. The second step is to factorize. Right. And once you've got those two things, you should be able to solve your quadratic equation. Let's solve some quadratic equations together. So. Question one, x squared plus three x minus 10 equals to zero. So here we can see that the quadratic equation is already in that equals to zero form. So all we need to do now is to factorize. If you need help with factorization, I will be making a future video on how to factorize quadratics. So we can see that 10 is the, you know, the constant coefficient and the factors of 10 are 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. And if I take a look at those, which of those will combine to give me 3? And it just happens that 5 and 2, when subtracted, will give me 3. So x and x, and then I'm going to have a plus 5 and a minus 2. And so then from this, I can solve my quadratic by solving each of these brackets for 0. So I'll see that x plus 5 must equal to 0 and x minus 2 must equal to 0 and then solve accordingly. x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 2. Another question that we can do is this one. Slightly more complicated, but we have x times by 10x minus 13 is equal to 3. So here we can see this quadratic is not in the standard quadratic form. Right? It's not in the ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So what we need to do is expand and then manipulate it so that we have our quadratic form equal to zero. So I'm gonna multiply out my brackets. So that's gonna give me 10x squared minus 13x equal to three. And then I'm gonna take three over so that will make it equal to zero. Right, now the next step is we need to factorize to solve. Right, so now we need to think about, okay, we've got factors of 10, which are 1 and 10, 2 and 5, and then the factors of 3, which is just 1 and 3. And some combination between these we need to use to determine the middle term, which is 13, in this case, negative 13. So if we take a look at these factors, we can see that using 2 and 5 and 1 and 3 will probably be the best solution. So if I have 5x and 2x, all we need to do now is look at the factors of 3 and what combination with 5 and 2 will give us 13. So it just so happens that 3 times 5 will give me 15 and 1 times 2 will give me 2. And because we've got a negative 3, that means that there's going to be subtraction happening here. And 15 minus 2 is 13. But because we've got negative 13, the signs will be opposite. So we want to have a negative 15 and a plus 2. So that's going to be plus 1, and that's going to be minus 3. And when in doubt, if you're ever not sure about your factorization, you can always multiply out your, your brackets by using FOIL, and then from there you should be able to solve accordingly. 
Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to solve each of these brackets for zero, and then we will have solved our quadratic equation. 5x plus 1 equals to zero, and 2x minus 3 equals to zero, and then solve accordingly. Right, and there we have solved our quadratic by using factorization and getting our quadratic into the correct form. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Um, if you like more of these videos, please give a thumbs up. And if you have any particular topics that you would like me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comment section below as well. Um, and also a subscription to Forest of Tutoring would be absolutely amazing. Cheers.